in states like New Mexico, Arizona, and Texas, where absence-only education is emphasized, teen pregnancy rates are substantially higher than in states where it's not. In Texas in particular, abstinence programs like Worth the Wait provide pre-approved scripts and material for teachers like Ms. Latavia Collins of Canyon Vista Middle School in Austin, Texas. The curriculum absolutely have strict guidelines. We have a script that we have to read word for word. My friends are doing it. It's a grown-up thing to do. I want a baby. So I think for seventh grade with the kids who are between 12 and 13, and we also do eighth grade and sixth grade, I think the curriculum is really good. I think when it comes to high school, they need to get more in debt. They need to get into more detail and talk about other things that can happen. A few miles from Canyon Vista Middle School, the students of Westwood High School come from a diverse background of experiences in sexual education, some coming from private and some coming from public forums of school taught sex ed. Through their experiences, they've developed their own ideas of how sex ed in Texas should be. My experience with sex ed in school, it was mostly a middle school thing. I think it was just sixth, seventh, and eighth grade. They kind of did something in fifth grade, but it was like more puberty than anything else. I got to sixth grade and they started talking about abstinence and that was really the magic word of sexual education in my experience. I went to a private middle school so, uh, for sixth and eighth grade, for most of eighth grade. And so uh, we actually didn't have any sex ed at all. Uh, where I went to school. I do not think the current sex ed curriculum is effective because now that we've gotten to high school, it's a lot more common than they made it seem. It just promotes like not having sex at all. I mean, it's a terrible time to not have the support of sexual education. Kids need to be taught about like STDs and um, what how teen pregnancies can like affect your life. I wish they taught in sex ed that abstinence is not the only practice of safe sex because as far as they like teach you like the only way to be safe and to not get pregnant is to um, just not have sex which on one hand is true that is the safest option but there are also other measures that you can take like how to put on a condom and what having sex means to the different genders because it does mean very different things to different people and I think the emotional outcome of sex should be taught as well. Soon, the Texas Board of Education will be voting on whether or not to update the sex ed program for the first time since 1999, presenting possible changes to the sex ed curriculum at middle schools to include more updated info on STDs and teen pregnancies. One of the units that is kind of weird to me is why do teens have sex and it talks about seven different ones and I think the thing is they need to update it like it seemed like it's from like the 90s and it only speaks about like you know you're bored or you have nothing to do or you want someone to love you enough. I think they should update the data our data is from 2009 to all the way to 2012 and it's 2020. From PBS NewsHour Student Reporting Labs, I'm Connor Kane. And I'm Astrid Mullins in Austin, Texas.